Hey guys, welcome back to BMW Blog and welcome to Germany. I'm in Munich once again and the reason for my visit today is to drive this new car. So you might be wondering what this one is. Well, judging by the camouflage, clearly it's a BMW prototype and judging by those split headlights, this is the new BMW 7 Series. We're not going to be talking about the design today. The car will be fully unveiled on April 20th. But the reason for my visit here today is really to talk about the driving experience. And I'm going to be starting first with a combustion powered BMW 7 Series G70 platform. And the engineers told me that this is a new V8 engine under the hood. It has a mild hybrid technology. So I expect to deliver quite a lot of power and it will be a lot of fun to drive. Next, I'm going to be jumping behind the wheel of the new i7 all electric. And once again, I think the driving experience between the two cars will be significantly different. This car comes equipped with an air suspension, as you would expect in a 7 Series uh, integral steering, which is always nice to have in a limousine. And of course, all the other goodies that you would expect in a car of this caliber. So with that being said, let's jump right behind the wheel and see how the car drives. And then I'm going to be talking about the i7 next. All right, guys, so now it's time to drive the new BMW 7 Series G70. This is the first time that I see the car. It's the first time that I spent some time with the new 7 Series. And as you've seen in the intro video, uh, this is a prototype version. So BMW calls this a pre-drive because it is not a production ready car yet. Production starts in July and the market launch for the new 7 Series. And of course, the BMW i7, it's going to be in November of this year. The idea behind this drive today and uh, also behind this video is really to see how the car handles before the BMW engineers apply their latest touches. And today I'm going to be focusing mostly on the driving experience. As you can see inside the car, it is all covered up so you can't really see much. Also, BMW is quite secretive about the model that I'm driving today, but they did tell me that this is the V8 and it's a mild hybrid setup. Based on my personal experience, of course, they haven't confirmed that. I can probably say that this is the new S68 engine, the 4.4 liter V8. It's a new generation of the V8, which will end up in the new 7 Series and of course in other BMW models as well. My first impressions are that we're having at least 500 horsepower under the hood. The car is quite punchy. It's got a really nice sound coming from that exhaust. So I think we're definitely uh, pushing above 500 horsepower, maybe even close to 550. But considering what we've been riding so far and what we know about the new 7 Series. I'm assuming this is the BMW 760i xDrive. They were planning on doing the BMW 750i xDrive, but I think they've changed the name to uh, 60. So as far as the equipment packed inside this prototype, BMW engineers told me that I'm going to be testing the anti-roll bars. It also comes with electronically adjusted dampers. It also has the air suspension and integral steering. Speaking of the driving experience, exactly what you expect from a V8, very, very punchy. Uh, what I do like quite a bit, it's that V8 noise coming from the back. You might be able to hear some of the burbles that comes out of that exhaust. Of course, they are a little bit enhanced by the active sound inside the car. Plenty of torque. So uh, once again, exactly what you expect from the V8. If I were to compare this engine to the previous one, I would probably have to drive them back to back, but at a first glance, the power delivery kind of feels similar. There are no major differences there. Uh, this particular prototype also comes with two driving modes for now, so I can test a personal one, which it's highly configurable, and I'm gonna be talking about that in a second, but it also comes with a sport mode. So I've been driving mostly in the sport mode, but now I've switched over to the personal mode driving mode and basically what you're getting right now it's a more balanced driving experience more comfortable this is likely the preferred mode if you want to go on some longer road trips and you have family with you or people with you in the car and you don't want to be driving too sporty too dynamic this is the one that you will be choosing to drive in so once again a lot of options as all the other BMWs, you do have a wide gap in between this mode and the sporty mode. And that's always been the idea with the new BMWs that you have this dual character inside a car. 
So just like with all the other BMWs with a sport mode, you can configure the uh, steering feedback, you can configure the throttle response, of course, you can adjust the suspension settings to be a lot stiffer, and uh, naturally, you can also play around with the transmission settings as well. Doing some overtaking right now, so you can probably hear the engine, it is quite punchy actually it is actually pretty impressive uh, because this car it's not light they haven't really told me the weight but by no means the car it's not lighter than the previous generation because every single new bmw has gotten heavier and heavier than before of course it seems to be a little bit wider and longer than the previous generation but nonetheless the engine seems to handle that weight quite well it is extremely responsive as you can see I mean, I'm already going about 100 kilometers an hour here and um, the car has got a lot more to give. Of course, being in sport mode, you can get a lot more feedback coming from the road through the steering. It's still the same EPS electronic setup that BMW has been using in their cars for quite some time. But um, at the first glance, it, you seem to be getting, you know, decent feedback from the road. The other interesting feature inside a limousine on a 7 Series, of course, are the anti-roll bars. And that certainly helps when you're trying to be on the sportier side of things. So let's say that you want to go on some of the scurvy roads around Munich and you want to push the car quite hard. Uh, then, of course, if you have an anti-roll bar system, that's going to help with that body roll, which naturally you will be getting from a very large car. Braking is also fantastic considering this car comes with the M Sport brakes. So I'm assuming that I'm driving the M Sport package 7 Series. I saw the more aggressive front end even though it's hidden behind the camo. So uh, by just the fact that I'm getting a beefier steering uh, with the M logo even though it's covered here, I'm assuming this one comes with the M Sport package. So it's a lot sportier than any other standard model. Uh, and just like all the other M Sport brakes, they do a very good job. If I were to compare this new 7 Series with the previous one, even though it has been maybe about a year since I've driven the previous generation, I think the last one that I drove was also the 750i with the V8. I feel like they, this one is more an evolution of that car. So it's not, it might be a revolutionary design on the outside and quite controversial, but when it comes to the driving experience, I feel like they just refined that recipe because the BMW 7 Series, you know, the current one or the outgoing one, has really been always a really good driving car. It might have had that really large and controversial kidney grill and it was kind of quirky, but when it came to the driving experience for both the 740i with the six cylinder, the V8 and even the V12 in the M760, the driving experience was always superb. And that's one thing that kind of separates, let's say BMW from other German brands, right? BMW really, takes the 7 Series to the level where you feel like you're driving a BMW sporty car. So even though it's a limousine, they spend quite some time making sure that the driving dynamics are worthy of the BMW badge. And this new 7 Series absolutely delivers on that. I also enjoy the steering wheel. It is quite different than what I've seen in the previous 7 Series. It's got a flat bottom. It is quite beefy. So it's quite nice to actually hold it when you drive, especially when you're driving fast and uh, you need to do some micro adjustments. I feel like uh, it's a really, really nice design. So once again, I'm back on some of those curvy roads around Munich. As you can see, I'm pushing the car quite hard, even going into corners. I'm in sport mode, so it's quite stiff right now. The chassis is stiffened up. The steering feedback, it's a lot more coming from the road. Of course, the suspension is at the highest setting. Transmission is being dialed up, so you're getting some really quick and smooth shifts. There is some body roll, of course, unavoidable for a car of this size, but I feel like the anti-roll bar system is doing a really good job. And of course, the EDC system for the dampers, uh, they do a very good job just smoothening the surface. So even though you might not be on really, really flat and smooth surface. Speaking of the integral steering, uh, driving through some of those little German villages, uh, it's, it's always nice to have it in a BMW 7 Series. The integral steering uh, does a great job making sure that maneuvering the car in tight spaces, on tight roads, it is effortless. And that's always an option that I recommend to anyone buying a large BMW like a 7 Series. What I also like about this 7 Series, especially with this V8 mild hybrid setup, is that if you push the car quite hard, 
and you don't know which car you're actually in, you would think that you're driving a far smaller car than you are. So it is quite nimble actually. So it's always something that BMW does really well. Despite the cars getting heavier and larger, they do a good job keeping that weight in check, but making micro adjustments to the chassis, to the engine and to the entire setup. And it kind of hides all that heft. All right, so what do I think about the new 7 Series? I feel like BMW managed once again to deliver a very good driving machine and they stayed true to their BMW 7 Series DNA. And what do I mean by that? The 7 Series limousine has always been a car with a dual character. So you can have a very comfortable, you know, luxury sedan limousine. You can take a seat in the back and have a chauffeur driving you around and enjoying all the amenities that the car has to offer. But at the same time, if you're more into driving, you know, sports cars and you still want to have fun with your 7 Series, then this new 7 Series will deliver on that front as well. Of course, I will be driving next the new BMW i7, so I am assuming that will be a quite different driving experience. Uh, it's probably a lot more silent, it should be, because it's an electric car, uh, but also the driving experience on the road, it's probably significantly different considering the instant torque that you're getting from that car, which it's also rumored to have a lot more than 500 horsepower. You know, please make sure that you take a look at the BMW i7 video that I've linked in the description below. And as always, I would like to you thank you for watching our channel. Thanks for subscribing to our channel, liking this video. And before I let you go, I would love to hear from you if you would prefer a combustion power BMW 7 Series or you're looking towards the future or you're, you're more interested in driving a BMW i7 all electric. Nonetheless, we will see both cars on April 20th. I will be talking about the design a lot more than about some of the features inside and outside the car. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.